Today we're going to talk about a gun that's been mentioned in my comments quite a few times in the last couple of days. Apparently this thing melts those mega abominations incredibly fast, so I'm excited to check it out. Talking about the ISO hemlock with the incendiary rounds and napalm burst. Really seems like fire damage is being the go-to lately. With that, welcome on back to the channel everybody. If y'all don't know, my name is Ghost. I appreciate everybody that stops by the video today. If you're into zombies content or anything Call of Duty, consider rocking the hell out of that like button, man. And subscribing to the channel, we just hit 15,000 subscribers. You guys have been going insane with all the support lately. I cannot thank you guys enough. So I cannot wait to get into this loadout that was recommended to me by you guys but very quick let's give a huge shout out to today's sponsor shout out to damn mods for sponsoring today's video whether you're tired of getting shadow banned on warzone or you really want to unlock that borealis camo in modern warfare zombies well damn mods has completely got you covered call of duty isn't the only stopping point whether you play games like hell divers 2 forza power world red dead redemption damn mods can definitely help you out with almost any of your favorite games with so many great reviews on trustpilot it's an absolute no-brainer to check them out links are down in the description use code goes to check out for five percent off your entire order thank you so much to damn mods for sponsoring today's video i'm not gonna lie guys today was kind of a rough day on zombies for me I ended up going through two crashes back to back when i was trying to record a video for the x13 don't worry yes that video is still coming but we needed to come in here and get another elder sigil first time i crashed was when i was trying to go into the elder dark ether as soon as i tried to go in it just immediately crashed and kicked me out and i ended up losing everything but then i ended up completely gearing up another operator with like all of my best stuff and as soon as i came in here i took about 30 steps forward and i lagged out and lost everything again i was so angry after doing several matches with that x13 and that is a pretty good gun by the way that video is going to be coming next i figured i would try out this iso hemlock that's been mentioned in my comments quite a few times as you guys could see right there this thing absolutely shreds those mega abominations and mind you this is only with an epic either tool too we didn't even have a legendary to throw on this thing also handed those hvts that were in the second zone really well now, so far from what i could tell this gun is really good but my main gripe with it is is i don't feel it's the greatest against just tier three zombies or most of the other bosses for that matter as you're going to see in this video we had some troubles with mimic uh, the manglers went down pretty easily and the mega abominations go down really easily but like the disciples and those mimics man for some reason they just soak up that damage from what i was noticing is when i was getting a little bit overrun with zombies this thing could just be doing a little bit better on dealing with those guys i just found the movement on this ar to be a little bit slow which did kind of make it a pain to use most of the time it might be a good idea to pair it with something like the vr11 that gives you that extra speed boost or at least run out with your fists a lot of the times you could definitely switch out the stock that i was using here and give yourself a little bit better movement but i don't know man i don't really like the kick on this thing i like that recoil control i was making it my life's mission to find a sigil inside of here there was a couple of guys with scorcher cases during this match stealing every single bounty contract that i could find even to the point of literally dropping right in front of me and taking the contract as i was gonna grab it i'm just like really man i get it though i've been guilty of stealing contracts with a scorcher too but i don't know not to this extent if i've seen somebody actually just getting ready to grab it there's been several times i just let them grab the contract because i mean that's just such a dick thing to to do we really need to do something about the red zone man it is just completely stuffed full of people almost every single match and it's almost impossible to grab a contract or really farm anything out there that's why i really love coming into the dark ether a lot because i most of the time i have this to area all to myself which we are finally in the dark ether and i ended up getting this hvt here and we got a mimic man i rarely ever see these things i'm not gonna lie this guy actually put up a way bigger fight than i was expecting especially with how well and fast this thing is just putting down those mega abominations and then trying to deal with this mimic here it just seems like the damage just isn't there now having a legendary ether tool would definitely help you out when doing this and would definitely raise that damage up quite a bit but man i don't know I, there's so many other guns in this game right now that's just good at doing everything like we got the new smg and then you got the renetti with the conversion kit and both of those things absolutely just melt those mega abominations in like the same way they're incredibly fast and snappy and they got some damn good movement on them too you don't got like this heavy ar that you got to carry around i do have to say that damage output when it comes to those mega abominations is really good finally after this mimic chased me halfway around the damn earth we were finally able to get this guy dealt with and we got a refined crystal we got that vr 11 case and another self revive i'm definitely gonna need that this dark ether has definitely been buffed up quite a bit now i feel it's like a hazard just walking around especially when doing these ether extractors now like before i would say it was really easy to just do these with only decoys if you brought in at least three decoys you should be just fine getting these ether extractors done now i would really highly recommend you guys at least stock up on a couple cashmere's maybe some monkey 
monkey bombs. It's just the sheer amount of zombies that are absolutely swarming these things around every single one of them too, all the way from the first ether extractor, the second one, and the third one. There's just so many zombies. It's kind of a pain in the ass to deal with. So definitely be smart and just bring something in that's going to be clearing out some of these things. And look at that, guys. We got ourselves our Elder Sigil out of here and another Bloodburner key. I got quite a few of these things in the stash right now. I'm probably going to destroy quite a few of them. But that Elder Sigil is definitely what we needed so I can finish this X13 video. That gun is definitely a little beamer too. And it just has one little downside to it. That's going to be the very next video that gets put up here in just a couple of hours. So be sure to check that one out. Now, as you guys will see here, as soon as I came into my holdout mission, I ended up throwing a decoy. I started the PND and I pulled out the sentry gun to set it down. And the zombies were not distracted by the decoy. I think it's because I just threw the thing too far away. Let that be a little lesson to you guys. Don't throw your decoys too far away or else the zombies will not get distracted by them. After we were able to get back up and get our sentry gun set up and actually kind of set up shop just a little bit, this ISO hemlock actually handled itself in here pretty well. But I'd say it's one of the absolute best guns to bring into the dark ether. Probably not, but it is pretty good. Overall, I would say if you're looking for a really good gun to handle things in like the second tier zone, or even if you just want to come into the third tier zone and deal with like mega abominations, or like bounty contracts and stuff like that, then this ISO hemlock does pretty well. It's when you're getting overrun by a bunch of zombies and bosses and everything else when you're trying to deal with HVTs and stuff like that. That's when you're going to end up struggling just a little bit. And it might be a good idea to pair this thing up with something else. Honestly, what I think would pair really well with this weapon is like the Wonder Waff, because then you could be clearing out like hordes of zombies while this thing takes care of bosses. Or hell, if you guys want to do what I did and just go around in the red tier zone and just killing mega abominations the whole match, you could do that too. Do I think this weapon's going to make the top seven best weapons to use in season three list? Honestly, probably not. There's just a little too many downsides that this weapon has to it. While it does handle these zones decently, like I mean the red zone and the dark ether, that is a little bit of the problem. It just kind of handles them decently where there is other guns out there right now that are just doing phenomenal things in these areas. Hell, even with this X13 that I'm about to show you guys in the next video, which was also recommended to me by another subscriber as well. I'm just going to tell you guys right now, this little thing rips, which kind of blew me away because I used to love the X13 and I've tried it out quite a few times in zombies, but I was never really impressed. But here in season three, yeah, I definitely was. But with this Outlast contract finally done, we ended up getting a MAGA holding out of here. Not too crazy loot, but I'll definitely take that. Stash is looking a little bit bare right now. Now it's time to hurry up and get the hell out of here. So we're going to run over to the police station, our closest extract. Taking a look in our backpack here, the loot on this run was okay, but it definitely could have been a little bit better. We ended up getting a blood burner key. We got an epic ether tool. We got a refined ether crystal. We got that MAGA holding, VR 11 case, napalm burst mod. Yes, that one's definitely important. Let me know down in the comments section what you guys are thinking about this ISO hemlock right now. Definitely glad that you guys told me to check it out because that damage that it's doing against those megas is definitely something else. Just wish it would have shined a little bit more in some of the other areas and I think this gun would have been really really good. If you guys have any other suggestions for loadouts that you've been rocking lately or anything that you guys think should be on the top seven best weapons to use in season three list please let me know down in the comment section. Loadout's gonna be up on the screen right here for anybody that wants to check out what I was rocking. Do greatly appreciate everybody that's been showing me all the love and support on the channel lately. You guys are honestly changing my life already and that's not an understatement at all please drop a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if anybody is new i hope you have a wonderful day and i will catch you in the next one